In today's video we're going to look at linear movement and why you should always try to avoid them when you do animation so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome. You are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you want to start out in animation, you don't know where to begin, you've never animated before, well, I've got some great news. I've got some free video training uh, in the description box below there's a link just click there uh, sign up and it's absolutely free and I will teach you the basics you'll work alongside with me and by the end of the video you would have created your very own animation and you'll have enough uh, basic knowledge for you to actually continue animation and to continue your journey and that for me is very important so feel free to go and sign up in the description box below there's a link I hope to see you there. Now today we're going to look at linear movement and why you should always try to avoid them. So what is linear movement? Well, basically it is anything that moves in a straight line. Um, so now obviously sometimes you can't avoid it. If you have to animate a car moving, the car moves in a straight line. So obviously um, you'll have to animate it that way. But when it comes to characters, um, Normally characters won't move or the body parts won't move in a linear movement. Um, it will always move um, in, in arcs, in circles. Now just to illustrate this for you quickly, here is a, a diagram. It was created by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I'm sure you've seen this before. And basically what this shows is that the body moves in an arc. If you look at the legs, uh, the legs are at the bottom and as it moves up, um, it moves in an arc. So that is very important to always remember. So if we go over to animation to illustrate this to you, um, let's click the character and let's just uh, move this arm. So as you can see, if you look at the hand, the hand moves in an arc, in a circle. So that is um, always very important to remember when you do animation, especially when you're animating characters. Um, that is very, very important for you to always remember. So let me quickly show you something. Um, let's say, for instance, I want this character to look this way and then that way. So if, if you're just going to animate it, let's do that quickly. Okay, so... Let's go to the first frame. I'm going to take his head, move it there, and let's go to frame 15, and then we're going to move his head there. Okay, so if we press play, he's, it's just a linear movement. It's really, really boring. So what can we do? We can add some linear movement to this to enhance this character moving. Okay, so let's do that. So the first thing I want to do is, um, I want to do two things. Uh, the first one is, I want his head to move in an arc. So instead of moving from this side to this side, I want his head to move like that. So as I've mentioned, we were on frame 15 is the final one. So let's go to the middle. I think it's frame 7. So when we are at the middle frame, Let's drop, let him look down. Okay, so now it's from here, down, and there. So if we press play now, it looks a little bit um, better. Okay, but let's add some more arc to it. Okay, so let's, um, the second thing I want to do is I want his upper body to move in an arc. So let's do that. Let's select, I want his upper body maybe to, um, his torso there, and let's just let his head move up. Then we go to frame 15, and we do the exact opposite. So, 
more than day. Movies head up. And then obviously in the center frame, let's drop his torso a little bit. So now his upper body is here. In the middle it's down here and then it goes out again. So if we press play now, that looks so much better. Okay. So it just adds a lot to the character movement, uh, moving. So instead of just that linear movement of his head, now I've add, added some arc movement in his head, but also his upper body. So it just adds so much life to my character. Now sometimes, like I said, we should always try to avoid linear movement, but sometimes you can't. Uh, for example, let's say the character is just... He's looking and he just wants to give us a short um, a, a short head movement. So just like that. Now you, that will look really unrealistic. So sometimes just that short head movement will be a linear movement. And that is okay. So use linear movement when it suits the story. It suits that sp specific moment um, but as far as you can try to avoid it and see um, use arcs because it really adds a lot to your animation so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions or let me know if there's any topics regarding animation that you want me to cover in the future um, because i want this channel to really be a tool for you guys to help you guys on your journey as new animators so if there's any questions or topics you want me to cover in the future let me know in the comments below and um, i hope you've enjoyed this video from me eon till next week god bless and happy animating